Today we're going to do a little bit of work on this electric motor. This is a two horse, 220 volt motor. Actually, I think it'll run 115 or 220. And uh, the, the main reason I want to pull this apart, is if you listen to that, it's got a lot of noise and I think the bearings are, are shot in this. So let's tear it down and see what we can do. All right, we'll start by pulling this cover off. And it's just held on by three screws. Now I will admit, I've already had this apart once and uh, just waiting for bearings to show up. But I thought, uh, why not just slap it back together? That'd give me a chance to make sure I, I know how it goes back together and then I could film this whole thing. So now that we've got that cover off, we need to pull this little plastic fan. And that's really held on by just a little snap ring. All right, I didn't lose it. That's it right there. Okay, with the snap ring off, now there are four bolts, long bolts, that go all the way through, spin it around this way, all the way through here. So we need to take these off. All right, next we need to pull this front pulley off and it's locked in place. Right here. With a set screw. Like I said, I've had this off once already. So it's going to come off very easy. Um, if it didn't, you just put a wheel puller on there. But we'll loosen that up. There we go. So this is actually a wheel or a uh, pulley. And then it's got a, a sleeve or a bushing inside uh, to step it down to the size of this shaft and a key. All right, and as you can see, I actually cleaned this up too, so I don't have to do that. Now we need to get these, these covers off right here, these aluminum covers. And really, that's just a friction fit here. What I'm going to do is put a little screwdriver right in this little crevice and just drive that apart very gently. There we go. Get it started. A little bigger screwdriver to wedge that apart. There we go. So that one's free. I'm going to leave that for now. We'll come around and get the front one. There. 
I guess we'll call this the back. With the back one off, you can see we've got a couple of wire connectors here. And all we have to do is just pull these off gently. So we get that off, I can set that aside. Um, one of the things I'm going to be doing is I, before I reassemble these, is clean up these contacts. You can see a lot of just grit and burning around those contacts. So that can only help by getting a, a little bit of uh, emery cloth in there and cleaning those up. So we'll set that aside. Now I've got a bearing here that needs to come off. So since this bearing is going to be replaced, I'll just put a wheel puller on here and get that off of there. All right, we're ready to go. hear that? That's a worn out bearing. That's, I think that's my noisemaker right there. So now we'll move on to the front. All right, this guy will take the whole assembly apart. Now this one, if you look down in here, the outside of the bearing drops into a, a spot on the cover. I think I can just gently tap it to break it free. Alright. Now I've got a larger bearing in here to pull out. second bearing. This one doesn't sound bad, but since we've got it apart, we're going to replace both of these. Make sure we got the right bearings here. These bearings will have a number on them. This one, for example, is 6204. So you see on the box, if you can read that, 6204.
that one matches up. The larger bearing is a 6206. So it looks like we got the right one. Yep, we're good. Let's get the back cover on. I'm going to reconnect these wires and then I've run a couple of the long bolts through to help align this. There's not much to this. Just get these connected up. And I want to make sure when I put this back together that these wires are tucked up out of the way. I'm going to use a rubber mallet and a pipe to drive these on. This first one starts out tight from the beginning. And for the pipe, I found a pipe that fits really nicely just around the center part. You don't want to drive on the outside or even on this edge here. You can damage these bearings. Okay, that one's all the way home. Now we'll flip around and go for the larger bearing. And this one, the only thing I had was this brass sleeve, which it's good because it'll limit any kind of damage that might happen there, but it's, it might be a little bit weak as far as crushing, but we'll just use a rubber mallet on this. Okay, that's good. So we have new bearings, nice and quiet. So this rear bearing here, once it goes into this housing, it will seat itself in the very back in a cup in that cover. So when I put this in, I want to bring it up till it's hitting that, but I don't want to drive it in or I'll just drive that cover off. So I'll, I'll bring that in and, and just lightly seat it and then, then we'll put the front cover on and then when I tighten the bolts down that will, that will draw it together. So here's the front cover. Make sure you don't lose this tension ring that can fall out. And again, I need 
to make sure I get this thing aligned. this one together and this one I can drive in alright now that that one's been driven in I'm going to turn this around and I've got enough threads here to get these nuts on. Got it temporarily wired. Let's plug it in and see how it sounds now. Nice, that's nice and quiet. That's exactly what it's supposed to sound like. And I can finish putting it back together. sounds good so just got to decide now do I sell it do I throw it on the shelf and just kind of hang on to it if I ever needed one of these I'd hate to have to go out and buy one but at the same time I'd like to get my money back so we'll see what happens thanks for watching